In Pro Tools, we have a few different options when it comes to edit window scrolling. And to get to those options, we come up here to Options and Edit Window Scrolling. Right now it's on No Scrolling. We also have After Playback, Page, and Continuous. We'll check each of these out. And we'll also talk about our insertion follows playback because the behavior is a little bit different whether this is on or off. And this may dictate what option you choose for your window scrolling. Let's go ahead and hit play. Again, we have no scrolling right now. Now our playhead is out of screen. I hit stop. Now because we have insertion follows playback on, you can see we're at bar three and beat four. Basically that means this is almost the operation that you would find with a, a cassette player. And whenever you press stop on a cassette, it's going to stop in exactly that location. And whenever you play again, it will pick up from that location versus say perhaps a CD player. Whenever you stop, it may go back to the very beginning of the track. And one thing you'll notice with no scrolling, you can see because we have insertion follows playback on, right here is our playback cursor locator. So we can click that. That will take us right to where we hit stop in this case, just by hitting the uh, space bar. And that takes us right to our current location. So we'll pick up from there by hit play. Now, if for example, we started from bar one, beat two, we had insertion follows playback off, we play. Now our playhead's at a screen, I stop, it's going to drop us right back to where we originally played from, okay? By the way, the shortcut to turn this on or off your insertion follows playback is the in key, provided you have your keyboard command focus on for your edit window. So I press in, it turns on, press in, goes off, so on and so forth. All right, so that's your first scrolling option and a little bit about insertion follows playback. Next up, we'll come back here to options, edit window scrolling. We'll go to after playback and we'll play. So it's not scrolling while we're playing. Now, as soon as I stop, it's going to drop us right to that point. Okay, so that's after playback. Let's go back here. Let's go to about bar one around B2 or so. Turn off insertion follows playback. We'll play. It's out of screen. We'll hit stop. And now it drops us to the location where we stopped. However, our insertion point for playback is still at that bar one beat two. As you can see right here, we can click that to go back to it. So if I play, obviously it's going to play from that previous location, right? Now I stop again, because this is the after playback scrolling option. If I start to play, we're going to play from that bar one beat two. It doesn't drop us back there. It just starts from, from there because we have the after playback option checked. All right, next up options. It's the one I use most of the time. It's page. So we'll play back. And there we go. It scrolls as our playhead goes out of frame. Just keep scrolling. And I stop. And because we had insertion follows playback off, it, of course, it drops me right back to our uh, beginning in this case. Always click this icon right there to drop right back. All right. So that's page. That's the one that's used most often. Go back to options. And now we'll go to continuous. Now that puts this playhead right here in the middle of the screen. So we're going to start playback from the very beginning here. Okay. But look what happens. Now we have the continuous scrolling. And we stay right in the middle of uh, the edit page there. So I can hit stop. And obviously my play insertion point is still going to be uh, at the very beginning because we don't have insertion follows playback on. So if I start to play, it's going to drop me right back there. All right, now for example, we could have insertion follows playback on. Let's have this on uh, somewhere around bar two. We'll just play from there. With continuous scrolling, now we'll stop. And of course, my insertion follows playback is now going to be exactly where I stopped. Another thing you might want to consider is what if we have a loop set up, for example. Let's we'll have a loop here. Let me have loop playback on right now. Make sure I turn that back on. And we'll play again with again with continuous scroll. And drop this right back. And of course, we stop with insertion follow playback, and it's going to drop us right there. All right, so it's good to know uh, all of these options. We could have after playback page, for example. We could set up a looping section, turn off insertion follows playback if you want. You can see how that behaves. So those are your scrolling options here in Pro Tools. Again, just come up here to Options, Edit Window Scrolling, and choose whatever you prefer.